Hey everybody, I'm Jason Scott with Six Degrees. And in today's segment, I wanna talk about augmented reality and its use in marketing. So first off, let's clear up the usual confusion that exists between the terms augmented reality and virtual reality. Virtual reality replaces the real world with a simulated one. It's a technology that's been around for decades. Think simulated environments displayed on a computer screen or using headsets where an entire world can be created with your personal avatar interacting in a 360 degree environment. Pretty cool. Augmented reality, on the other hand, is typically defined as an enhanced version of the real world. Think of it as a merging of the real and digital worlds by superimposing virtual information onto everyday objects or environments. The visual experiences aided by AR can be generated by a number of possible devices. So in this example, we're seeing a digital overlay using the camera view from a tablet to turn a simple flyer into a very creative, interactive sales piece. Now, I think a lot of people still view AR as a little gimmicky because they don't quite see where it's going or maybe they don't yet recognize the huge benefits brands can experience by using it as a marketing tool. But AR marketing has really developed pretty quickly over the last few years, moving from web to mobile and now even wearables. However, when I say wearables, many may immediately think of the now infamous Google Glass that pretty much crashed and burned when introduced to the public back in early 2014. So if Google Glass is pushing up daisies, then AR wearable headsets are dead, right? Well, no, not even close. Microsoft HoloLens, uh, Sony Smart Eyeglass, and a ton of others with ambitions in this field are bringing options to market with a whole array of features. Now the headset is just one kind of device used for implementing the digital overlay. The important breakthroughs in AR will be in the applications and creative content through any number of devices. But whatever device is used, there's little doubt that AR in general is poised to really make its mark this year. And not just because big bucks are being thrown at it, but because digital consumers' expectations are rising and constantly evolving. They want to be enticed and engaged with digital content and options that are easily accessible. So that means brands have to shift their thinking and approach to brand building. They have to find new ways to attract and engage consumers and meet their changing demands. AR, as a marketing tool, can do just that. Because AR marketing has the ability to open up a kind of two-way interactive experience between the consumer and the brand. It allows marketers to engage in an entirely different way from non-traditional methods. For example, a few years back, IKEA was faced with the challenging fact that 14% of its customers were taking home furniture, which ultimately turned out to be the wrong size for its intended location. Obviously, this was a problem for both brand and customer. So IKEA, being the clever Swedish home furnishings giant it is, they developed a free catalog app that allowed people to try out select products in their homes. Using the printed catalog as the trigger and a smartphone or tablet for viewing, customers could place virtual furniture in their homes to see what worked best for their environment. This is a great example of how AR can be used to promote a brand and its products while further enhancing the customer's overall experience. While the IKEA example is just one illustration of how brands can use augmented reality in their marketing efforts, it's certainly easy to see how the marketing possibilities using this technology create a sky's the limit situation for brands. The only thing that brings it back down to earth is remembering that AR is still just a tool. AR isn't marketing campaign unto itself. It needs to be used to enhance what is already currently being done meaning it's better for marketers to think of it more as an additional channel for a marketing campaign and not a sweeping solution. Well, that said, there's no denying how effective AR marketing can really be if done well. Using AR marketing, brands are able to deliver more value to their audiences and create much, much more impactful interactions than traditional, more passive methods. On smartphones and tablets, AR can feel like a magic window for a prospective customer holding their attention and allowing brands to connect with people by telling a story instead of pushing a message. In this way, it doesn't feel like a sales pitch if done right. Listen, there's no doubt that augmented reality has a bright future and we'll continue to see more and more innovative marketing experiences created by its use. Just how far will AR marketing go? Well, time will tell, but one thing is for sure. More companies and organizations are beginning to embrace this alternative to traditional media, and marketers should be excited about the limitless possibilities that AR brings. I'm Jason Scott. Thanks for watching.